हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज डेटा हैंडलिंग दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी लर्निंग फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू डेटा हैंडलिंग नाउ एट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू नो दैट व्हाट यू मीन बाय डेटा एंड वाई डेटा हैंडलिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड यू मस्ट हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट वी टीचर रिकॉर्ड द अटेंडेंस ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इन क्लास एवरी डे वी रिकॉर्ड द मार्क्स ऑप्टेन बाई यू आफ्टर एवरी टेस्ट राइट so here comes the need of data handling now what do you mean by data data is a collection of numerical figures giving some particular type of information for example the data about temperature of city suppose 23 degree 35 degree 48 degree 30 degree 25 degree these are the datas given these are the data about the temperature of cities in diff five different cities suppose okay so this is all about data now what do you mean by raw data when these observation these are called observations okay when the collection of observations gathered initially it's called raw data so when we collect this information at first it is known as raw data now what do you mean by range range means the difference between highest value and lowest value now if you see this data here 48 is the highest value and 23 is the smallest value so range is the difference between highest value and lowest value so 8 minus 3 is 5 4 minus 2 is 2 so it's 25 okay so after collecting the data we have to record and organize it now why do we need that Let's take an example. Suppose we write down the marks obtained by students, uh, say twenty three, thirty five, forty eight, thirty, twenty five, forty six, thirteen. In this form, data was not easy to understand. So what do we do? We will make a table. and we will organize the data suppose we will write the roll number okay say 1 2 3 4 this way we will write the roll number then we will write the names of the students okay here we will write the names of the student then we will write the marks out of 50 suppose these marks we will write here Suppose roll number one has got twenty uh, three, two has got thirty five, three has got forty eight, then four has got thirty. Okay, so in this form we are able to know that which student has got how many marks, right? So this is called organization of data. Okay, now after organizing the data, we need to represent it. our next topic is representation of data so it is the method of representing information in terms of picture symbols graph numbers okay so there are different methods of data representation at first we have frequency distribution table suppose you are asked to collect data for size of shoes in your class so for this you will have to prepare a table suppose you have some data given which is say suppose 
थ्री फोर फोर फाइव 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 सिक्स सिक्स थ्री ओके सो दीज आर द डेटाज गिवेन ऑफ द शू साइज ऑफ योर क्लास सो यू विल हैव टू मेक द फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल यूजिंग टैली मार्क्स सो इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम वी विल बी राइटिंग द शू साइज सो हियर वी हैव थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स दीज आर द शू साइज गिवेन सो थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इन द सेकेंड कॉलम विल बी राइटिंग टैली मार्क्स tally marks tells us that which number is appearing how many times so here we'll be writing tally marks and in the last column we will be writing frequency the frequency tell us how many number of students have the same shoe size okay now here 3 is appearing how many times 1 2 3 4 so here we will draw the sticks against the shoe size 3 1 2 3 4 so tally mark 1 2 3 4 okay now four appeared 1 2 2 times so it will be 1 2 now five appeared 1 2 3 4 five so it will be 1 2 3 4 and the fifth tally mark will come like this so this is the bundle of five okay after the six appeared 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 so this five this shows the bundle of five now in the frequency column we are going to write the number so here we can see that 1 2 3 4 Okay, so here we will write the number. So it's four. Now here we have tally box two, one, two. So we'll write the number here. Here this is a bundle of five. So this is five, and this is a bundle of five and one extra. So it is showing two size six. How many times it appeared? Six times. Okay. So this was all about frequency distribution table. So frequency means how many times, how many number of students have the same shoe size. and tally marks tells us which number is appeared how many times okay now coming to next topic now our next topic is pictograph now pictograph represents the data through pictures of object it helps answer the questions on the data at a glance like here we can see that see each object represents two so here we can see that rena collected how many plus 1 2 3 4 now one object represents two that means 2 4 6 8 rena collected how many flowers eight flowers now how many collect uh, how many flowers are collected by tina it's two full flowers and this is half now one represents one full object represents two so half object will represents one so How many flowers are collected by Tina? It's two plus two four four plus one five. So here Rina collected eight flowers, Tina collected five flowers, and Mina collected see all are half. Okay, so it shows one. It it also shows one, and it also shows one. So how many uh, flowers are collected by Mina? Is three. Okay. so this way we will represent the data using pictograph okay now our next topic is bar graph now what do you mean by bar graph it displays the information using bars of uniform width this width remains same okay so and this is called there are two type of bar graph this is called vertical bar graph and this is called horizontal bar graph
now we will learn how to read the read the bar graph okay so here this is called horizontal axis and this is called vertical axis at the bottom we are measuring the types of fruits and here on the vertical axis we are measuring the number of fruits eaten both side and bottom have level which tells us what kind of data is shown like here suppose uh, there is one monkey and monkey eat some types of fruits and how many types of fruits the monkey eat it's given suppose here monkey eats mangoes to this these are the scale okay scale represents how many uh, how many fruits are eaten by monkey okay suppose here monkey eats two mangoes four cherries five apples and three oranges okay so this way we will have to read the bar graph okay so th these are the three different ways to represents the data one is pictograph another is frequency distribution table and the third is bar graph okay thank you students